everyone, this is Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today in Cinema 4D, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the Clothilde tag and the cloth uh, collider thingy. So uh, first I'm going to show you how to use it for the basics, and what we're going to need for this is we're going to need uh, a sphere or a cube or whatever you want to use. I'll use a sphere because it looks better, in my opinion, and you need a plane that is just going to relax on top of the sphere. Let me make this plane a little larger. Uh, to use the Clothilde tag, it's very similar to the uh, MoGraph tags. It's just adding a tag to both of these objects, and then they'll have physics applied to them, and they'll uh, interact with each other. So um, two things. We need to make the plane a cloth, and we made a need to make the sphere a collider. So to do that, we need to right-click on the plane, go to Clothilde tags, and make it cloth and go to the sphere, go to Clothilde tags, and make it a collider. So there we go, but the only thing now is if we hit play, it doesn't work. So we have to make the, actually first for the plane, I forgot to mention that uh, if you want to get a more smooth uh, cloth looking effect, if you go ahead and click on plane before you make it editable, uh, and you go into object, you'll have width segments and height segments, and the higher they are, the um, smaller the little squares will be, so it'll look more natural when you um, make your animation. Lots of little squares, so a very high um, natural look to it. So after we finish that, uh, we can go to our plane, make it editable by hitting C, or going over and clicking this button here. So now if we play it, um, our cloth will fall onto our ball and it'll react and spaz out and there we go it looks like that um, if you if you notice that it's um, spazzing out and it's kind of falling into itself then that means you need to go ahead and mess with the uh, uh, segments the width and height segments and you should get a better effect if you make them higher Okay, so now that we've gone over the basics of that, very simple, just adding some tags to some objects. Um, I'm going to show you what you can use for this. If we go ahead and make another plane, and I'm going to, actually, I'll just look down on it. Basically, what I'm going to be creating is I'm going to create a flag kind of thing, and I'm going to make this a little wider, smaller. And, okay, there we go. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make this plane editable by hitting C, or this button up here again. So our plane is now editable. And <clears throat> we got to go ahead and add our Clothilde tag. So right-click again, Clothilde, and make it a cloth. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is after we make it editable, if we go and hit this uh, button up here with the three dots in the corner, um, it'll make all these little like midpoints uh, selectable. So basically all we have to do um, is select the top, hold down shift and select the bottom, go over to our cloth, um, is it cloth? Cloth options, it should be here, there we go. If you click the little uh, cloth under the tags, it'll show up as um, dresser. I hope you can see that. I'll probably go ahead and zoom in for you. And um, if you go down here to fix points, the two points we have selected, if you hit set points, um, basically it makes these points non-moving along these um, two midpoints here. So if we play it, we should get, there we go. So that is where the uh, pivot point is, I guess, for this. And... If you want to go ahead and mess around with the forces, maybe let's drop the gravity, see what that does. So there's no gravity, obviously nothing happens. If we change the direction of the wind X up a bit and wind strength, we need some wind strength. Um, there we go. It's kind of just falling in the breeze there. But if we turn it up all of them a little bit, maybe... Uh, add some turbulence and add some more strength ah okay so um, basically that's it 
um, you can have a lot of fun with this. Make a flag, and all you would need is a pole and maybe some string, and you'd be good. Uh, this is kind of a fail flag here, but if you just mess around in your forces, you should be able to make one that uh, actually is flowing in the... Oh, that's the Z direction, that's why. So, there we go. Spaz out. Nice, very nice, like hurricane force winds there. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it helped. Thank you for watching. This has been... E Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.